Biwaire Kiuna. As he comes forward, his beloved son, who just graduated from the university, who is beginning his master's degree in a couple of uh, weeks, I believe. I was there when he arrived the other day and handed over his bachelor's degree to his father. And he told him, I did this for you. And Bishop took the degree in his hands. And he said, I could never be more proud of you than this. And he told him, even if you never graduated, I'll still be proud of you. Put your hands together for Jeremy Waire Kuna. Give it up for this handsome young man. Thank you, Pastor Andrew. <sighs> yeah. Um, Buona Sipiwe. Buona Sipiwe. The first person, obviously, I wanted to, to give thanks to is Jesus, God, our Savior. You know, um, I sit here and um, I feel like I'm not alone, you know? Like, I feel like he's right here with me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, was, I, was, I was telling my mom, like, it's so funny because it's like when he went to be with the Lord, it's like I wanted to know what love like that was for Jesus, because he loved God so much. And I want to say this, because I spent time with him in America for a whole year. Not one day, not one day did he ever complain. He said, Jay, always give thanks to Jesus, and always give thanks to God. No matter what happens, always give it to God. So that's going to be my first thing. <sighs> Secondly, I want to say to Mom Teresia, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You have not just loved me and my family, but even me individually. You know, you call me your boyfriend. <laughs> and um, me individually, you've just loved me so much. And I cannot, I cannot say thank you enough. And my father is, is so honored to have a mother like you. <sighs> you know, the main person I was trying to even like figure out what to say was my mother. Mom... You are my superhero. You are my superwoman. You are everything God has asked you for. You know, I think about it this way, you know. Guys, I'm single, by the way, so, you know, if, if, if there's a wife that's coming, you know, I think about it this way. Um, you know, God, God has really shown me an example of, of what a woman is. And like Vanessa said, there's not a day that we saw them fight. There's not a day that we saw them argue. They were just so in love. Not just with each other, but with God. And I'm so grateful that you're my mother. I'm so grateful that we have you. Because you are, you are the foundation of everything. He might have started everything, but you, you held everything together. And I want you to know that. And he knows that. And um, there's uh, something I'd like to say, you know, about my dad. <sighs> man, an old man. You know, last night I was thinking, I was like, what can I say about such a great man, you know, without like crying or breaking down? And the Holy Spirit just told me, just be yourself, because that's exactly who my dad taught me to be, to be me. You know, a lot of people had questions when I got dreads, and I remember there was a time, there was a whole conspiracy about like how it was, and my dad stood there and he supported me and was like, Jay, I love them just as much as I love you, because he always picked me to be myself. And he never taught me to be anyone else. And a father like that is so amazing. Um, and you know, <sighs> dad, man. <sighs> to, to my father, I'll keep my promise to you. He told me, Jay, I have a plan for you. As long as you can keep the plan, I'm good. <sighs> and... Um, I remember when I was, my, my dad was my best friend, so I remember when I was nine years old, and I, <laughs> and I started liking girls, right? I'm telling a funny story, so you guys laugh. And I started liking girls, <laughs> right? And um, I went to my father, and he was like, and I was like, Dad, so I have this girl, I really like her, and I don't know how she feels about it, and I'm just like, whatever. And he said, son, I'm here for you. And my mom was like, who is she? Who is that woman? And you know, like, my mom was always the, the protective one. So my father, from the, from 
day, the day one, he, he, really, he really showed me what a best friend is, what a father is. And he was such an amazing, amazing man. And I'm so grateful. You know, a lot of people question, because when you have a challenge, people are like, ah, uh, you know, maybe he's challenging this area. But God has blessed me with such an amazing life. And I'm so grateful that I had a father like him. I could never ask for another father. I could never go another way. <sighs> and, um, yeah, so I'm really grateful for him. I'm grateful for everything. And I'm getting my third degree, my master's, for him. Everything is going to be just for him. The same plan he has is the same plan we'll complete. And uh, he left an amazing legacy. And there's no one else I'd rather be honoring than my father. One more thing, Prophet Leslie. I want to tell you that when I was praising, God reminded me of the prophecy that you had. And he, and he um, said, I want, I, want, I want you to remind her that you weren't wrong. Everything you said about him being in the white suit, in all that, in the white and all that, I believe God was welcoming him too. And he's dancing with his, his favorite, favorite person. His favorite person, who he died for, who everything was about, God. And I know that now he's smiling, he's dancing, he's so happy and he's so complete. And that is all I've ever wanted for him. So. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Let's appreciate Jeremy Waire Kuna. And now with a standing ovation, ladies and gentlemen, let us please arise as we receive to the microphone the second lady of the Republic of Kenya, Her Excellency Pastor Dorcas Rigadi. Let's appreciate. Let's appreciate her. Keep clapping until she gets here. Until she gets here. Let's appreciate her. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. You may be seated, please. Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Richo Ruto, our mother and our prophet in the house, Reverend Kathy, my sister, and my prayer partner, and your children. Imagine God is with you. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. Fathers of faith who are in the house, saints of God and all protocols observed. Today I stand here to speak to us on a man, a general, a soldier of faith. I've known him, not to say that I stayed with him, but I've known him as also a brother because my father of faith were friends with him for, for the longest. And for, in that association, I knew him for 22 years. And I saw them the way they laughed. And today I come to bring the condolences of my family and my husband his Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa, when he heard that he had gone to be with the Lord, he said, how can it be? Why now? <laughs> and then when we came to you, you asked the same question. Why now at 57? And I remember telling you, it is not about the years. It's about who you know as your God, the quality of life that you live in his service, in his worship, that matters. Even Jesus Christ was 33 and ministered before God three years. And the world is never the same. Today we stand here to honor a man of faith. I know him because when we asked him to come for leaders, fellowship, and uh, he would come to teach, 
He came one day to teach when he was not feeling very well. And I remember he took time. He prayed. He delivered the message. He was sweating, drenched in sweat. And he did not stop. For hours, he taught the men of God. He taught on worship. He talked on honor and continued until he sat on the stairs. And I can tell you that is what service, faith, and love, as our Father has spoken, the fellowship, the grace and love that you show to mankind is what is very important. And I would just want to say one thing before I leave here. Luke chapter 18 verse 8. If there is anything I have learned from this brother is faith. Faith in this God. Jesus said this, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. That was not very important because God can do all things. He can avenge you. He can enrich you. He can give you all that uh, we have been taught, spiritual, physical blessing. Nevertheless, and this is what the church of Kenya and the church of Africa and the church of the world ought to ask itself. Nevertheless, when the son of man comes, will he really find faith on earth? This man who has rested, Jesus cannot be concerned about his faith. He expressed his faith fearless. He was not ashamed of the one who called him, who died for him. He preached him to the people who are all there and to the ones who are high there. And he preached it to the world. The church of Kenya and the church of Jesus Christ. When Jesus comes, will he speak the same that he can speak? For you know them by their fruits. Today, we are talking of a, a, a lady who has been left. She's a witness. This is, was a man of faith. Children who are saying this is a man of faith. When we were told all to stand, we stood in witness that this man was a man of faith. May God help us. May God help us that we don't drop the baton, that we will run the race. And when it is done, as our father has rested, he slept and he was present with the Lord. And he was he's saying, the Lord was saying, good and faithful servant, enter into the place of glory. And this I believe, this I know, it has happened. My father in the spirit, Bishop David Moravi always says, he's marked absent here and in heaven, he's saying, present with the Lord. And it is what I pray for every one of us. This is a journey and every one of us, if you got to go to heaven, that is the only way. May the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and that grace that we have been said stay with the church, stay with the families, and stay with the family of God. Never be intimidated to deny Jesus Christ. This is, these are strange times when the church is being bashed from left and center. Prophets are being called false prophets. And the church is being attacked about spreading the word. Go and spread the word. Jesus is the Lord. And he will not be anything else. We are not ashamed of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. I am saved and I always say, faith is personal. And that is why Jesus was worried when he comes. Will he find you where our brother and general of faith has been found. God bless you. Thank you so much.